morning dear students welcome back to my science online class we will study each chapter from your science book the chapter name is body movements so today let's continue that chapter all of you open your book page number 66 see today's topic is human skeletal system have you ever wondered what gives different shapes to our different body parts we know that our different parts of our body have different shapes and size so who gives that and how it comes the framework of bones in the human body is called the skeleton the framework the frame of our body the framework of bones in the human body is called the skeleton how the bones are arranged how it joins so the framework of the body in human bones in the human body is called the skeleton underline this sentence and remember this it gives shape to our body and also protect the inner organs so skeleton gives shape to our body and also protects the inner organs skeleton protects the inner organs because they are framework with inside them different organs are present so if any injury happen then first bone will fracture a bone will fracture after that it will the injury will come to the organs okay we can give and have an idea about the shape and the number of bones in the different parts of our body with the help of x-ray photographs we can have an idea in x-ray why we do x-ray to diagnose any kind of fracture in our bones and that is how we can have an idea what how many bones are uh, present in our body okay and what are the shape we can have an idea about the shape and the number of bones in the different parts of our body with the help of extra photographs okay the human skeleton consists of the skull the backbone the ribs the limbs and the pelvic bones the human skeleton consists of this all skull backbone ribs limbs and pelvic bones okay this is the human skeleton x-ray is if we do x-ray then this image will we will get fact to know there are 26 bones in the human foot in human foot 26 bones are present the human hand consists 27 bones human hand in hand 27 bones are present understand remember this okay see the skull the skull is made up of 22 bones skull is made up of 22 bones it encloses and protects the brain this is the skull inside this brain is present and due to this uh, brain is protected okay due to the skull brain is protected and it protects the brain understand the backbone or the spine this is the backbone press and move your fingers downwards in the center of your brain's back you will feel a long hard bony structure it is the backbone which is made of many small bones called vertebra this backbone is formed like this these are known as vertebra okay or vertebrae the vertebrae are joined together by joints which allow only very slight movement vertebrae are joined together by joints which allow very slight movement this only move very slightly okay this is why we are able to bend if it was made up of one long bone it we would not be able to bend our body if no vertebrae will present only one a long bone is present then we would not be able to bend as the vertebrae are present we can 
move okay the ribs take a deep breath and hold it for some time you have to take a deep breath now feel the bones on your chest after that feel your bones on your chest can you count the chest bones ribs these are the ribs if you take a deep breath then you can feel this rib this is the rib case and try to count the number of of the bones they are flat carved bones they are carved they are like this they are like this right they join the backbone and the chest bone together to form a case called the rib case so they join the backbone and the chest bone together to form a rib case the rib case protects the heart lungs and the other internal organs of the thorax there are 12 pairs of ribs here 12 pairs of ribs are present in the chest heart lungs are present and this rib case protects our lungs hearts etc okay there are 12 pairs of ribs remember this the last two pairs are not attached to the breast bone and are called floating ribs so the last two pairs of rib bones that are not attached to the breast bone and are called floating ribs here we can only feel 10 pairs of ribs see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 and the last two pairs are not attached to the breast bone and they are known as floating ribs okay now see limbs that's the thigh bone called the femur is attached to the hip bone through the hip joint the ankles and the feet also have a number of bones this is the thigh bone known as femur which is attached to the hip bone okay through the hip joint the ankles and the feet also have a number of bones the upper arm has a long bone called the humerus the upper arm has a long bone known as humerus the lower arm has two bones the wrist and the hand also have several bones the wrist and the hand like the wrist and the hands see the hands small small bones are joints so this has several bones now see the pelvic bones the pelvic bones enclose the portion of the body below the stomach pelvic bones enclose the portion of the body below the stomach we sit on this this are the this are the pelvic bones okay the ends of bones are covered with a cartilage the ends of bones are covered with cartilage it acts as soft absorber and prevents rubbing of bones against each other at the joints so this cartilage is the shock absorber if any kind of shock will get then the cartilage absorb that shock so they are known as shock absorber and they prevent rubbing of bones against each other at the joints Now, see, fact or no, some animals do not have bones, but all animals have muscles. Some animals do not have bones, but all animals have muscles. Muscles are present in all animals. Okay, so students, it's your today's class. I hope you all understand today's topics. Thank you. Have a nice day ahead.